Very good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the SN1 reaction. What is the SN1 reaction? SN1 reaction. So, what is the SN1 reaction? It is nothing but one means a unimolecular, N means a nucleophile, S means the substitution. So, unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction is otherwise called. SN1 reaction. Now we can see what is SN1 reaction. So here, some of the conditions we have to follow or we have to satisfy some of the conditions. What are the conditions? Here, 3 degree alkyl halide. Alkyl halide will involve. That means that 3 degree alkyl halide will react faster in SN2. And it is a two step process. It is a two step process. And here we have to use a protic solvent. So what is a protic solvent? I'll explain you when I teach. Then uh, rate of reaction depends, depends only on substrate. Only on substrate. And the very important thing is here inversion and a retention of product we are getting. Retention of product we are getting. So let's see one by one. So here for SN2 reaction. Here it is. SN1 reaction. Reaction. So what are the things? 3 degree alkyl halide. So let us write 3 degree alkyl halide. So C, C, C. Here Cl. So if it is CH3. Here it is CH3. Here also CH3. So how will you calculate the degree? How, how will you find the degree? It's nothing bad. So here are the functional group. Functional group is attached to the carbon. That carbon is attached to the 3 carbon. That is what is a 3 degree alkyl halide. Alkyl halide. Okay. Right. Now we have to use the two things. That is a protic solvent. So what is the role of protic solvent here? So protic solvent which is used to release the H plus ions. So those the solvent which is going to give the H plus ions will called protic solvents. Here the protic solvent will cleave this, will attract the Cl minus. Now what happened? So this bond is getting break. This will come as Cl minus. What about this remaining thing? The remaining thing is CH3, C, CH3 and here CH3 and one positive charge. This is 3 degree carbocation. 3 degree carbocation. So this is the most stable carbocation. So 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, 3 carbocations are available. But here 3 degree carbocation is the most stable one. So that is why here it is formed here now. Okay, now what is the role? Second step. This is the first step. The first step is nothing but it is the ionization. What about the second step? So let's move to second step. Step two. What is second step? So here I can going. I'm going to write this three degree carbocation CH three and CH three here. Here one positive charge is there. Now I'm going to take out my nucleophile. Okay. Now the nucleophile. The very important another thing is the nucleophile strength is not important here. Why it is not important? I am going to tell you. So here, the nucleophile will come and attack directly. Directly on the carbon. So here, the nucleophile will come and attack. In this case also, if I use the nucleophile here, it can come and attack the Cl-, minus, this carbon. So leave the Cl-, minus. but that is not possible here. Why it is? Because these are all bulky groups. So these bulky groups, that is, which will be otherwise called as a steric hindrance, that steric hindrance will not allow the OH- minus to attack directly. So the direct attack is not possible. That is why we use the protic solvent. The protic solvent will absorb this Cl-, minus. that is what one 3 degree carbocation is formed. Now the 3 degree carbocation will form, after that the nucleophile will come and attract easily. Now what happened? This will be our product. CH3, C, CH3 and CH3 here OH. So here I am getting respective alcohol. Here 
The thing is, it is a two step process. Now we can check one by one. So, 3 degree alkyl halide I use, 3 degree alkyl halide. Now, the reaction will happen in two step. Yes, it's two step. First step is formation of ion, other is the carbocation. Second step is the formation of product. And I use the protic solvent to cleave the Cl minus. That is what, because I am unable to attack the nucleophile directly because it is a steric hindrance. It creates steric hindrance so that. So, I cannot use. Uh, OH minus to attack directly. That is what I have to create this carbocation. After that, only I can uh, attack this with carbocation. And the rate of reaction depends only on substrate. Yes, here it entirely depends on the Cl minus because it does not depend on the strength of nucleophile. Because the strength of nucleophile is not important here because the nucleophile will not attack directly. So after the formation of carbocation only it is coming and attract towards to each other to form a product. That is what the rate of reaction depends only on substrate. That is what is SN1 reaction. And here what is the inversion retention product? Here I may get the two different products. What are the two different products? Now we can say if OH minus ion is coming and attacking directly, I can get the product like this. This is called a, a retention product. So what is the word of so retention and inversion? So retention is following. Now we can know here Cl minus is here, OH minus is here. Now instead of Cl minus, this OH is coming. Now what happened? So the same spatial arrangement is maintained. That is called the retention of configuration is there. Suppose the OH minus ion will come and attack from the back side, I will get the different product. What the product? So you can say here, so here OH, CH3, CH3, CH3. It's so nothing but the spatial arrangement is different. Now the OH is here, that is just opposite to CL minus. So that here I get inversion configuration. So inversion of configuration here. I am getting so here 3 degree alkyl halide, two step process, protic solvent, rate of reaction depends only on substrate, and invention retention configuration is possible here. That's all about the SN1 reaction. In my next class, I will explain SN2 reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and please forward and please share my video. Thank you so much for your watching.